Hey everyone, it's Lauren here and I'm excited to be here today to share with you a Project Life Spread. I know I haven't done one of these for you guys in a while, but I had this great little kit that I picked up from Citrus Twist. I'm already tongue-tied and I've only just started, goodness me. A great little kit from Citrus Twist. This is their Life Crafted Legendary Kit. Now, I've had this for a little while sitting there, but I thought now's the time to pull it out and um, scrapbook a couple of Project Life pages. This page, I thought I would challenge myself. As you can see, there's birds all around and we were away camping with with family and it was lovely and these gorgeous lorikeets were coming up and we could feed them and so I thought I'd challenge myself with a bit of a green theme so using the legendary kit and you'll see me in a little while pull out some um, crepe paper stickers like cardstock stickers to finish off but 95% of it is the legendary kit and I pulled out all the green elements and I don't usually do a lot with green but I thought I'd step outside my comfort zone and use a colour that I don't normally use and put this page together. So as you can see the way I scrapbook Project Life is I like to do it like a layout. So everything's sitting in front of me I don't just do one card at a time and decorate you know decorate each individual thing uh, that comes a bit later, but I really like to set out my layout so I can get kind of an over, overview feel of the what the completed page will look like. So I view it as a as a page, a nine by twelve inch page. I'm just doing it in little cards so they can slot into the pockets. So using um, the techniques that I love, which is putting layers behind my photos to help them jump off the page, I'm adding a few borders and I'm just trimming down those three by four cards just to fit in the spaces. What I notice with the Citrus Twist kit three by four cards in my album my nine by twelve inch studio calico um, album that I'm using for project life um, these cards are just slightly too big for that so I trim I just trim the edges off so I guess one good tip is if you're thinking about starting uh, pocket style scrapbooking or you're picking up a, a kit from a company that you don't normally um, use their kits. I I don't buy um, Citrus Twist is a real treat for me because international shipping and our Aussie dollar isn't fabulous. Um, it's a real treat for me to get a kit, and I really have to love love. Oh, I love I love lots of things, but I really have to um, watch when the Aussie dollar is doing a little better, and that's when I usually sneak in and buy myself a little treat. Um, so if you're new, getting a new kit that you don't often use, um, my tip is just to make sure with your base cards, just to slot them into your plastic sleeve, just to make sure they move in and out, um, nice and smoothly, if not trim them up and before you start this process, because I learned this the hard way. I learned, um, on another layout that I'd done that the, they were too big and, I had to trim them down and I'd already done some journaling and some embellishing that I had to sort of trim up a little closer than I liked. So here I am, I'm sticking down my photos and with a Citrus Twist Kit you get like a little sheet of tags that are just a printable that you cut them you cut them out and they are beautiful for pocket style scrapbooking. As you can see, I've cut that little one in half and I've got a half there and a half up on that other photo of Katie looking at the camera there and I'm just using it to using them to form layers behind on on each of my little pockets. The other good thing is when you're using these little tags, it provides sort of a, an embellishment that sort of consistently flows throughout your page. So, I'm sticking with that kind of tag theme so I want to tag in that corner off to the side and down there so it's a bit of a triangle zigzag I'm not it tends to just work for me in the sense of I don't I'm not consciously thinking when I'm doing this oh I need three tags and they need to go there and there it just really is what makes me um what I think looks good at the time and often when the joy of doing process videos is you look back at your process and you realise these themes are coming through in your scrapbooking style that um, that you 
you, you're not thinking about it all. But what it does is it seems to be the foundations of my style of scrapbooking and um, and it seems to it seems to really work for me. So as you can see, I've pulled out some cardstock stickers there. That's just from one of the crepe paper collections. Every one of the crepe paper collections, I always get two sheets of the cardstock stickers. For this very reason, I don't want to be caught with a project life layout and think, oh, I've got to hoard that one sticker. I always love them so much. If I just get two sets and treat myself to that, I can go sticker crazy and not feel so bad. And this year is my using things up. So you're going to see me this year really trying to use up those sticker sheets and be a little bit more um, free with you know, putting those bits on that you think, oh, I really love that. I need to save it. But no, this year is not a year for that. This year is for me using up my stash so I can replenish it. <laughs> anyway, so what do you think? It's all coming together here. I've got a bit of a green theme, but as you can see, I'm just going to pop in a little bit of color there with the orange, but that's not taking away from the overall film feel of the green as I've used those green bait the green bases the green cards some green embellishments the green in the photos and you can see it's kind of all coming together that orange or peachy color um, that I've used in those hearts sort of like the photos you can't really see it here but it was sort of um, that dusky kind of like time of the day where the sun had that that nice sort of golden golden feel about it so that bit of a peach just sort of bring that out and um, then I've just added some puffy stickers those puffy stickers came in the life crafted kit and I'm just going to add my journaling on with my I think it's a 0, .0 uni ball black pen which is my go-to for project life and those tiny small little spaces that I need to um, that I need to kind of fill in with a little bit of journaling um, and go from there. So I saw that space there and on those sticker sheets there's an alphabet set so I'm just popping love down there. They're really sweet stickers. If you looked closely, oh there you go, I gave you a bit of a close-up look. It has a little bit of a gold um, foiled edge on those letters which just made it a little bit special and finishing off now with that gorgeous little butterfly so there you have it I hope my layout has inspired you to try a theme style color theme style um, project life spread if you're new to my channel a big welcome um, I don't do too much project life um, but if you like my scrapbooking style check out my other videos and please like this video become a subscriber and share it with your friends that really helps my channel. All right, guys, happy scrapping. Take care. Bye.